global banks such as Morgan Stanley have raised the possibility for a recession hitting the US over the next nine months. Primarily over concerns rising from the tariff war between the US and trading partners like China. Let's do a three-point analysis on what this means for the Indian market and where should uh, you position yourself. Number one, the situation is not that bleak for India. In fact, ahead of the recession that triggered the 2008 financial crisis, emerging market indices diverged from S&P 500 and outperformed the S&P 500 by a mile. At that time, a mid-cap and small-cap indices in India, which have a higher exposure to the domestic economy, doubled nine months before the recession. Secondly, factors that come to India's rescue are lower commodity prices, subdued inflation and accommodative central banks. In the US, the CME FedWatch tool assigns 34% probability to three rate cuts of 25 bips each by the Federal Reserve until December end. What does not look good for India at the moment is the weak domestic macro data. The 10-year yield and in India has contracted by more than 40 bips over the, last, uh, over the past month, pointing to expectations of more rate cuts of uh, 25 bips. The next RBI's uh, policy decision slated for June 6. Thirdly, let's talk about where you should position yourself. Sectors where investors can increase allocation are regular day-to-day -day FMCG items and pharma and chemicals which have the resources to take advantage of the current US-China trade war. Sectors that are expected to get more policy attention are infrastructure, cement and housing needs. Uh, in a nutshell, exposure to staple select global cyclicals and uh, domestic infra can help in the near term.